ask about like what you studied. Like yeah, journalism. Oh, you studied journalism? I did. What? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay, that's a really nice base. So did you ever picture, were you picturing yourself like on TV, radio? No, no actually, oh. mm-hmm. I was picturing myself like behind the scenes. I really wanted to be like a film producer. Mm-hmm. I still do. So that's definitely something I'm going to do. Film producer, like behind the scenes, never. Yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. But you know, you already have the face to. I know. I just don't have the. The what? The guts, you know? I'm not, uh, trust me, like in front you, of a camera. Have you done what? another podcast before? No, I've never. And we're doing 4K. Are you even listening to your voice the way it's... <laughs> come on, come on. You know, you know, let's just first of all get through with this episode. And then, you okay, know, okay, you know, yeah. Plus, you know, now that I've realized you don't stay far, you know, we can try, we can try some, Facts. you know, yeah. some regular, you know, mm-hmm. kind of content thing, right? Yeah, sure, we can. So you pictured yourself behind the scenes and yes. everything, right? Yes. But is there anything that stopped you, like, just from going into mainstream media or...? Uh, yes, because mm. uh, it's so, like, it's very crowded, number one. Uh-huh. Number two, in this, like, in the journalism industry, if you don't have connections, it's really hard for you to get a good job. Really? Yeah. Especially, Kwanzaa, if you want to be, like, a, what mm. is it, like, a news anchor, newscaster, yeah. whatever. Like, what do they eat? There's behind the scenes and then there's... Um, I don't know, but it's, I think, let's, well, let's like call it like forefront, guys yeah. who are on the forefront, yeah. right? like if you want to be like on the forefront. Yeah. Mm. I think that's that so many happen. gatekeepers, are, but that's true. And I hear like mm. wonderful press before they pick you to be like a lead anchor. And exactly. Name, you exactly. have, you have to put in, first of all, years of mm-hmm. work. And I think that's where now like something like social media comes in very handy. Yeah. I think if you can just like actually just sit down and... Because now, let's say, the, the biggest hit, like you've said, is like you want, wanted to be behind the scenes, right? Yeah. But if you know you have like, even if you don't have the face, come on, it seems like some hideous people doing content. That's true. And, That's and, they're, true. and they're just doing okay. Yeah. And okay, and hideous, I don't mean like, you know, I'm just saying that people who are actually good looking, who just like attract the typical, people. the typical. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So uh, what I think like social media has given people like a lot of opportunities, like you can just put yourself on camera. Yeah. And actually, like, now create content and actually still do the the behind-the-scenes thing. And I think right now where we are is, like, you just do your own thing and you wait for anybody to, like, reach out to you. Yeah, like, notice you. Notice you. You get an opportunity, that's true. And even if they don't, I think you can still actually survive right now. Do you think think it's capable, you're capable of, like, not you, like, just anyone, like, just putting out content and surviving and still making money through collabs and all those things. Yes, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. Like, right now, I feel like content creation is, like, one of the biggest, Mm -hmm. like, you know, jobs, sort of, because it's not really a job. It is. Okay, it is a job, yeah. Yeah. That you can create. Like, self-employed type of job. Yeah. uh And it pays, like, really well if you, you know, get there. If If you you focus on. If you're focused and if you're consistent and if you, you know, you, like, tap into that niche, Mm. you're good. So what's stopping you from chasing your dreams? Man, that's a good question. <laughs> nothing this year. I can mm. tell you for sure, nothing this year. There's no barrier. There's nothing. Yeah. This year, yeah. But I'm going full throttle. Do you ever feel like it's maybe too much pressure? Because like we've said, like we keep on seeing like a lot of people, like even if it's podcasts, there's so many people doing podcasts, people who are YouTubers. Yeah. But do you feel like the pressure to start is what's like, you know, like maybe you're comparing yourself to other people and that's what's like, you get a bit hesitant to start like your own journey. Yeah, I'll tell you something. You see, my family has always been like very supportive of my, Uh you know, if I want to do content, if I want to do this, they're very supportive of that. Yeah. So, but when it comes to me, like on my Instagram, I literally tell story times, do what on my stories, like... I hate such But... Everybody will just be like, people will be replying to my story like, yo, you can start a YouTube or start a story time, like, you know, thing on TikTok. Or, yeah. And I'm just like, yikes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's... Um, <laughs> I'm just shy. And it no, but you already sense. post it or you're already posting it, right? I know. And uh-huh. I just, I feel like I just need to push myself more and more because I can do it. I know I can. Uh-huh. Like before we started this podcast, like I was... Yo, I was scared shitless. Like, I was, okay, not scared, like, nervous. Really? 
Yes, I didn't look like I was. No? Yeah, I never look like I am. But <laughs> I was, I was very nervous but because I was like, oh my God, will I be able to talk or will I just like freeze? And can you hear even like how you're just flowing even once you start talking? Thank a you. question is thrown at you like, you just, you know, plus you also like, I think once the, the record button is on, yeah. it only takes like, I think 10 seconds. Because to be honest, like even professionals that I've had on the podcast yeah. who are like uh, radio anchors, they always say like, we still get the nerves. What? And I was just like, what do you mean? You do this every single day. day like, and they uh, say, I still get the nerves, but the, after the five, first like one minute, yeah. now I just zone out. Because especially like with these headphones, you know, once you wear them, like in a whole different situation. That's true. And That's it just true, becomes actually. you having a conversation. Yeah. And I think also so like maybe like your highlights and I was like, Yo, she looks like somebody who has like so much more personality that she's not putting out like on her content, yeah. which can be like... Trust me. Yeah. We see. Yeah. Are you good at editing? Yes, I am. You are? Yes. What? <laughs> I, I, I am. Just, I, I just am. get like another assistant right now. Uh-huh. Period. We're replacing people here right now. Just, <laughs> just like that. Now. Ivo too. Ivo too, just like that. But so now, okay, now, and what do you think about like just mainstream media, how you see it? Because for me right now, mainstream media, there are a few people, of course, that I can listen to. Mm-hmm. But I don't watch TV and I don't listen to radio. Do you watch TV? No. You listen to radio? No. So why would you want to get in an industry that even you mm-hmm. don't even? I feel like for me, it wasn't really much about like me watching it. Yeah. It's kind of like I like the production of it. Mm. Yeah, that's why I, I never wanted to be like on the forefront. Ah, I just wanted to be in the back, okay, like okay. the production of it, what goes into it. I had the you know opportunity to watch one time, mm. like even... When it comes just to film, even like there's a time I watched a film being like made, yeah, produced. let's say made produced, and mm-hmm. I was just like, wow, like this is this is, I need this in my life, like this mm-hmm. is what I want. So I feel like it's just more of like the production, the whole like everything coming together, even just this, like yeah. your whole setup. This is it, it's exciting. But you didn't mention anything about my setup. Are you those people who's like <laughs> you're excited inside, but you're less holding it in? It's like no, I can't. No, I would have say. said anything, but remember I said I had the nerves. Like I had, oh, the, I was a bit nervous, yeah, so I wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. like saying anything. I was just trying to yeah be composed. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Which is fair enough. Yeah. Because for my case, I think like just mainstream media now it's gotten to a place where I think it's a bit boring, mm-hmm. and I think that's why like now we really like social media has really grown, and even people from social media have grown. That's true. That's why you can see. I'd maybe prefer to see like certain entertainment news from maybe someone like Mungai Eve, mm-hmm. your Edgar Obares. Yeah. You know, they don't really filter it very much. They That's just true. tell it like it is how you want your content, exactly. right? Exactly. Because now, exactly. by the time it even gets to TV 7 p.m., Obare posted it like probably at 7 a.m. in the morning. Yep. And you have and to go through, knew the whole re- story. <laughs> imagine. So you have to go through the editor, get yeah. approvals and all yeah. those things. So I think, you know, Mainstream media is changing, but, you know, if you're getting into it, like, you know, all the best to you as well. But I think I would prefer, like, just do your own thing, like, just even if it's on YouTube, yeah, TikTok, and you already have, like, a following, just keep yeah. growing it. Yeah. Are there some people that you look up to, like, maybe on social media? Uh Hey, listen, it's a safe space. This is a safe space. Oh eh? my God, I'm going <laughs> to sound like you. such a dick. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. Well. What are your thoughts? Look up to in terms of content creation or? I mean, look up to in success, content creation. Because oh, yes. when you ask okay. me that, like what? Uh, in what terms of mean? content creation, I don't think so because I don't think I've really met or seen anybody, hmm. especially in Kenya, who's who wants to, who's done or who does like what I kind of have in mind. Mm. So what did you have in yeah, mind? Yeah, like me, I just want to be authentic. Like me, I just want to speak my mind. And I'm just, I love, I love telling stories. Yeah. I love doing that. Oh, I know somebody who did it, but back in the day, but not really right now. Mm. You know Elodie's own? Ah, uh, yeah. What happened? Okay, yeah, yeah. She's uh, she's not really on YouTube anymore, I don't think so. But like, she when she had, had started, do you remember? Very... And I think, that's the thing. I think we're missing such YouTubers. Yes. Elodie's own. That's, that's Sha- Sharon wow. Yes, yes. Those are the people we meet. Because now YouTube, Kenyan YouTuber, okay, yeah. they're doing numbers, but eh. Like, I really miss, like, the era for Elodie Zone. Like, yeah. that was, I was just like, wow. So that's YouTubers. who, now I used to, like, want to aspire to yeah. be. So, but as 
Per right now, I don't think I've seen anybody who's doing that. Yeah. But that's that's the type of thing that I'd Actually, do. that's very interesting. Because even that yeah. you brought it up, like, I think harsh. Because I remember even, like, back then, like, watching, like, maybe, let's say Sharon Mundi. I was like, yo, by this, she's actually doing the content, the way mm-hmm. it looks. Mm-hmm. It looks really good. Exactly. Even LOD was like, even her storytelling. Yeah. And you know, like, if we all know she's going through it, like, right now, like, yeah. on social media. Yeah. But, you know, I think if she was still doing the YouTube yeah. and even posting what she's going through right now. It would help. It would actually do numbers. Hey, I I, actually, she would have made so much money. She'd have been okay because, you know, when she's talking about, like, losing her job. Yeah, and then, that's true. The content that she's posting on, going through all those roller coaster of emotions, breaking up with the boyfriend and everything. She's posting content because I was she about to is. say maybe the mental, you know, capacity, but she is posting. She's content posting. About it, so, yeah. so if she just did that and posted it on YouTube, that's mm-hmm. true. Mm-hmm. That's true. LOD, I think, would have been a very happy person. The that's breakups, true. all those things, because you're telling us like an actually true story, mm-hmm. and you're already posting it. Exactly. <sighs> There's another Kenyan who's doing it, but she lives in the U.S. Who? Stacey Thiru. Do you know Stacey Thiru? No. You don't know Stacey Thiru? No. Oh, my God. You hold need on, to check on, out Stacey Thiru. She also, like, does those. And what I loved about Elodie Zone and now Stacey yeah. Thiru, which is, like, you know, in connection. You can multitask, right? Yes, you can. You can tie, talk. Uh-huh. Like, both of them, her. they are quirky. Like, they just do their thing. Yeah. They talk about whatever they want to talk about, they're goofy, they're quirky. And that's just me. That's my personality. Yeah. So I'd want to showcase my personality fully and not feel like I have to like sort of filter and myself. looks already good. Professional. I'm telling you, she's funny. And these are photos. So you're telling me there's YouTube as well. She has a YouTube. Ooh. She's a YouTuber. She has a TikTok. Okay, okay. Yeah, so... Okay. I really... Ah, there is your answer for your question. You asked who... Oh, you look up to. I look up to Stacey Thiru. Okay. Yeah. And I think this is also like, you know, because let's just be honest. We do live like our... Okay, I don't love the usual shabang for the YouTubers who are just like, you know, we can't just be... There's nothing wrong talking about like just tie every time, but there's times like, okay, but are we going to grow from that? Because... Because I want somebody, I, I, you know, like for even for guys, I'm always saying like, yo, I would want to see someone who's talking about like, okay, I've progressed this way, like after a couple of mm-hmm, months, mm-hmm. at the end of the year, I've been like, you know, even if they're preaching like maybe about their relationship or something, we see something in them growing. That's true. Brand partnerships, maybe. Yeah. You no, know, moving into a new house. Mm-hmm. Uh, even if they're touring, like maybe overseas, because yeah. things that I can are far-fetched, but I can aspire to, to grow into, you know. Yeah. Maybe you've bought a new car or something, you know. Like, just how back in the days we used to see, like, those people growing, growing, That's growing, true. growing. Yeah, yeah. But now I don't think, you know, I don't know. You know, you'd find somebody else sponsored with the OD bets and stuff, but I'm looking at their YouTube. I'm like, I, w- I don't want to be anything like you. Exactly. Like, yes, I can watch, but you're not inspiring me in yeah. any way. Exactly. There we go. Yeah. There's no inspiration no. or anything of that sort. Yeah. yeah. It it could be funny, but, you know, okay, then what next? Because let's yeah. say if we were picking YouTubers from, let's say top 20 YouTubers from AC. Yeah. And then we pick mm. for top 20 YouTubers from Kenya. We'd look hideous. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Even though we're doing numbers, yeah, but we'll look we'd look like Joker. Yeah, we can't. No, see, there was even like a, there was a who was talking about these African. I don't know if it's TikTok awards, yeah, or something like African something awards. There's only one Kenyan. Who? Official Kinuthia. I saw that Not on official TikTok. Kinuthia. You know, official Kinuthia on TikTok. The this guy, he does like um. He cross dresses. Yes, kind of. yes, he cross dresses. Wait, he was woman. he was top. No, he was nominated. There was only one Kenyan nominated. Wait, for and it was what? him. It okay, was like not one in a of bad these way. awards, African awards. I think it was either TikTok awards or something. Africa. Africa, because now people are even talking about uh, how. Can I please let me remember who, who's 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 nini, who was posting? Was it, it put in the female or male category? I'm actually not sure. I don't think the categories have like gender. They do. They do. Oscars, they always do like the best female in Africa, best because it no, won't like, be fair. You know TikTok why? One? You know why it won't be fair? Because let's say if like we're picking like even for, oh, but makeup wouldn't. I think make he was sense, put right? on the male one. Yeah, probably. It was somewhere on TikTok. I saw and it. Do you think it, it was because of inclusivity? It's possible. 
No, I'm asking. It's possible, but if it is because of that, then yeah. that just shows you how <laughs> pathetic we must be. <laughs> if that's the only reason that they picked yep. a Kenyan. Yep. Yep. Yo. Actually, like now whoever was talking about who was talking about this? And it was yeah. two people talking about it. Whoever was talking about it, they were like, oh, it was I saw it on TV. I was just passing by the sitting room. It was uh-huh. Aunt Stella. It was an it was a an interview. Mm-hmm. On on TV, I can't remember what channel or anything, but it was Aunt Stella and mm-hmm. like the host of the show. Yeah, and they were talking about that, like yeah. TikTok awards and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've remembered. And but that's yeah. why that's why I'm saying, like you know, in Kenya, I don't think we have that glow that we used to have, like on social media. That's so upsetting. Like even the people that we see maybe are doing it big, yes, but you still don't want to be like them. Yeah. You know, because yes, they're having fun, they have like their own look and feel, but we still don't have like, you know. Yeah. I'll give you another example of people who are, uh, I think they would have been really, really good right now. Okay. Even as a couple, even though things didn't work out for them. Ooh. Guess who? Okay, hold on. Let me guess. A couple who would have like killed it right now, made the best checks and they would have looked good as a brand. Okay. Forgive me if I'm wrong. No, tell me. Wait, looks good as a brand? Yeah. Even like looks, uh. both like the couple look good, talking, and you know, just... Were they YouTubers? Yeah. Damn. Can't think of... Is it the one who was with This Is Us? Oh, no. No? No, who? but him, he wasn't, he was never He was only. not a YouTuber? Yeah, he was not a YouTuber. Wait. Was he a YouTuber? I feel like he was. Okay, I'm not so but... sure. No, he not, wasn't a YouTuber. Design. It was just, S was just like on her own. Yes, she had like a private mm. life and then Natalie Tewa and the boyfriend oh, when they were doing YouTube. Oh, yes. Tell me that wouldn't have been a best representation yes. of like, oh my God. Kenya. So perfectly. So is it yeah. to in our Jesus family? Yes. Because now, and okay, we, have, we have the Jesus, Bahatis. we have the Bahatis, we have like the... The big guys, Terence. the big couples, Terence. And Millie, I think. And Millie Ochebi. Nothing yeah. wrong with what they're doing, of course. Yeah. They're making their money, but I wouldn't say I want to be like them. And plus, it's just the same content. Like, we don't have other couples it's doing hideous. something different. It's hideous. Yeah. But you see, like, when the Natalie and the boyfriend, they were doing, like, content, like, that's something I could say, like, you know, if I was in a relationship, I'd want to be in such a relationship. That's true. That's if we were true. going to coast on Ooh, a budget, I yes, would want to go yes. to coast on a budget and then show like us that. Like everything. Yeah. He was working out. She had a banging body, yeah. taking care of herself, and her hair. skincare, hair, yeah. everything. So yeah. I think that was like a good. Rep- okay, I mean, and it was authentic. It was. It was. Because even these other ones, it seems like they almost fake it so much or script it. They all just it. do the same thing. Yes. Yeah. So you see, it's not people yeah. you want to be like. Yeah. And I think most of the times it's because advertisers always say, and I think it's the advertiser's fault because they always say like, we want people who can connect to ordinary morning. Okay. So everything has to look dumb for it to go mainstream. You know, that's actually something I was about to say. Or I feel am I like, wrong? No, you're very, very much correct. Because I was yeah. about to say that at the same time, the audience yeah. is not giving much. Like, because you'll find people who actually produce different type of content and like, you know, yeah. for lack of a better word, better mm-hmm. content. Yep. Like, they won't have the views. They will nope. not have the recognition or yep. anything of that sort. Yep. But that's because of the audience. Of course. So they're looking for something very specific. And that's where, that's the thing now. You see, like once advertisers are paying those people to produce that content, that's the content that will flood the market. But also, we won't grow as as people. That's true. We won't grow as people. Because yeah. now for you, you see, like for you, you'll be hesitant probably posting out your content because yeah. you're like, I don't think I'll pull the same numbers. Yeah. When these people are doing like some other ridiculous things and they're like, yo, 120k views. Because at times yeah. I look at... I'm like, wait, this Comrade's channel is getting 300,000 views. Imagine. I'm, Comrade, like, what... I'm like, wait. And what? there's like four other channels <laughs> just same, like that This one. same, same thing. <laughs> this same, same thing. And well, I'm just like, you know what? That's I can. for you. And I was just like, and that's one of the things I told myself. I would never fall victim to start doing such things. Mm-hmm. I will just focus. Like, even if I'm getting like small views, but I have a niche of people who like actually come and listen to my content. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't watch the full clip, I'll have a highlight for you. Watch the highlight. Yeah. Because maybe you do need to go to your comrades later on. But 
from my side when you're coming you're going to get something different that's but i will true. not yeah. fall victim to start doing like content that's that nah, ridiculous for real, for no real. yeah so it's it's a bit tricky when you're choosing content but yeah. i think the way you said people who are authentic i miss that as well yeah i miss that as well but what makes more sense is like people who feel that you should produce your content then that's true yeah, yeah. don't like l- trust and i think they are there like they reply to my stories they're like oh my god why don't you just start like a whole story you, story think, time yeah. like you know you you'll segment. take off you'll take off so fast i, I don't really even hope think. so hey oh my god but, from your mouth to god's ears <laughs> but also don't let that be like your main driving no, force no it's not it's cause, really not because if it's something that you've thought about and you're even thinking about being behind the scenes yeah i think just post authentic content even yeah. if it's you chilling with your friends yeah working towards like uh um you know a goal or something yeah. by the end of the year if you achieve it mm-hmm. cuz like even youtubers i see youtubers who are doing good but at times i'm always looking at other girls i'm like yo you if you started like your channel yeah ah uh, the way you talk the way you look the way you're authentic the way you have fun i think you can even yeah. do better numbers yeah so i mean don't you know trust me like you know if it's something that you've thought about i have for a very hey, long time so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it cuz like a lot of people like my stories so story time yeah I'll be doing story time maybe mix it with like a get ready with me maybe if I'm doing cuz I do my have makeup you, Have you done like get ready with me videos No I haven't And Not makeup videos thing. Videos no Now you see I've never like Even I for don't makeup. imagine I don't do and that like you okay first of all when you do your modeling gigs Yeah the specific one that you really like booked for it's like face Yes And you've never posted Very, like I get ready with me for your makeup No No, I know that's it's sad, yeah. So when you see other people being nominated, please you'd rather support because you're not giving us like even what we want, even the mi- bare minimum that we'd want from you. Hey, yo, I'm sorry. Cuz look at her makeup, guys. Just look at how she put everything together, like even your oh, style and everything. You. Thank you. Because like other people are doing it yeah. and you can see like even as much as like that's what I'm saying mm-hmm. like if you're already feeling it and it's something that you want to do, just put your phone there and Yeah. Actually, yeah, video. I'm going to do that because every single time my makeup artist does my makeup, I'm not even on my phone. So why sh- why would it what's stopping me from like just, you know, even putting like a <laughs> time lapse. Asking, I could even ask her exactly like a time yeah. lapse or even ask her like we do a specific form of content that we, yeah. you know. Oh, actually, include oh, all wait, that. I don't mind. I've seen you working with what's her name? Wow Faces. Wanjiko, Wanjiko yeah, yeah. Ndegwa, yeah. Yeah, she's worked like with a few girls that I know like yeah. have my friends and I was just like, "Oh, actually cuz if she's worked with you then I know like mm-hmm. it's definitely something she's also like spotted like on you and I was like, "You know what?" Yeah, I mo- I model I model for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they- I feel like no. I feel like mm-hmm. I should possibly Yeah, that makeup con- plus I do I also do my own makeup like of course not like professional type of makeup but I'm I do I'm, I'm a very creative really, person. It looks really really good. Thank you. And yeah. there's even more like on my page. Like creative, you know, looks and stuff like that. I kind mm-hmm. of stopped doing that but like I can get back into it because why not? Okay, why would you stop? Man, I had a very hard year. Like last year was very hard for me. Hey, listen. Very. Listen. Yeah. Let's <laughs> Let's talk let's about it. <laughs> Yeah. No, but but you know the thing is uh-huh. okay also like you can just share what you want to share. You don't have to share yeah. what you need. like I say this is oh, a no, safe space, sure. right? Yep. Because I think at times also like when and I think why it's important at times when people come to social like let's say even to a podcast and they hear someone's story they're like, "Oh, you know, actually I didn't know like I couldn't tell like she's going through this or maybe yeah. this is why she's not posting yeah. or because all your pictures I've seen you just smiling. Mm-hmm. Insta stories you're having fun <laughs> blast hey, special wait you saying 2023 yeah all your stories you're just having fun what do you mean <laughs> oh, all no. your 2023 now that's I'm that type of person even 2023 I'm just saying fun 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 yep. fun I'm like mm-hmm. so if somebody comes to your profile and I think that's why also like when you're doing authentic content yeah people that's why we're saying like if LOD did that as YouTube yeah imagine the numbers she would do right now yeah Because, yes she you know she's talking about like yo I lost my job guys I'm not sure whether I'd still be able to afford like you know uh, staying where I stay yeah. and you know even like her pet she had yeah. to like you know and I'm Get like yo, I'm like your yeah. elder if you're doing like YouTube the same amount of rent that I first of all I had you're paying in that house yeah. you have like your own compound in 
all these any other areas. Exactly. You'd have your pet. Yeah. And another pet probably. Yeah. Uh, you'd be good. Honestly speaking. You'd be good. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, okay, Sarah, let's go back to Nini. I, you know, I can't forget this. Listen. <laughs> I can't forget this. So 